<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Sunday Slap. My name is Jonathan. And no, I'm Fodor. I'm Bruna. If you, maybe you need to put those names on the screen because <laughs> lots of foreign sounding. <laughs> we don't yeah. know our names. <laughs> so the, the Sunday Slap, if you don't know, if this is your first time, it's a show about the biggest news in tech and product over, of the week. So we take a look at what happened in the week and we give you an entertaining overview of all the things that happened. And we do it live from the AJ and Smart office so it gets a little bit loud and steamy. So let's take a look at what topics I have this week for you. None. Good job, nothing. Jonathan. Good job. <laughs> Literally nothing happened this week at all in terms of pro like product news or innovation news. There was like some rumors for the Apple event and there, there was nothing, nothing happened. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the biggest question that everybody has on their minds if they're a designer and it is, what is better, Sketch or Figma? Alright, enough. So let's talk about the difference between Sketch and Figma. Yeah. Sketch and Figma are the two, I would say today they're probably the two most important UI design tools on the market. I agree. Sketch is, the, you agree? I agree. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. sure. I mean, InVision doesn't really, it's not really ready yet, no. right? No. Envision's not really ready yet. So Sketch and Figma are the two biggest design tools on the market today. These are the tools that all the big companies use when they're designing digital products. So you saw that Google um, last week or two weeks ago, they announced material design with yeah. Sketch plugins. Yeah. Design is essential in today's world. It defines your experiences and your emotions. There are other companies like Airbnb that, that are using Figma. So these two apps are the two main <laughs> the two main, they're the two main products that designers use today. But which one is better and what's the difference between the well, two? Well, Figma. Figma, Figma is no, better. No, Sketch. Yeah. Sketch is <laughs> much Figma. better. Figma. So let's actually get into it. Sketch versus Figma. Yeah. Let's start with Sketch because Sketch was the actual, I guess that was the, the app that revolutionized UI design when everybody was still using Photoshop. Yeah. That's the thing, I am emotionally attached to Sketch because before I was using Adobe, the Adobe Suite and just thinking, oh my God, this is so hard. Why this this icon here is not in this position in another layer? It was like, made for photos. So many, yeah, exactly. So I also tried using Illustrator. It didn't really work, although it was a bit better just because it was all about vectors. But then Sketch came and like, ah, life is good again. It's so easy to, to use Sketch. So I'm still very emotionally attached to Sketch. I think one of the things that Sketch does well is that because it is right now probably the market leader in UI tools, it's not loud at all. It's not loud at all. It's oh, can we do like ASMR? Uh, yeah. Let's just have an ASMR moment. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Go search ASMR if you're not liking this video. <laughs> Basically, maybe on a, on a, like a base level, mm. Sketch and Figma are pretty much they, like the end result is the same, right? That's great actually because if you know how to deal with Sketch, you can just open Figma and just work with it. So the thing about <laughs> Sketch is that because it is the tool that has been on the market the longest, it's also the one that has probably the most plugins, the most support, yeah. and yeah. all of that kind of stuff. But you as a UI designer today using now, I think that you guys just only use Figma, right? Yeah, exactly. Is there anything that's not really working out with Figma that's something that you're ir irritated about that's not there? So. What's cool about Sketch is that uh, it has a lot of plugins and uh, it can like make a lot of uh, people's life easier like by, by automating a lot of things. So Sketch gets at least one slap for plugins. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's just a slap. <laughs> Not a clap. It's uh, a okay, one slap. Sketch already gets the first slap. So that's yeah. one slap already for Sketch because of the plugins. Okay. Yeah. It's just one fun. slap. It's one slap. <laughs> Don't put any noises in for those slaps. Yeah, so like uh, Figma doesn't have any plugins at the moment, uh, and it's a bit sad. Uh, it's a bit but but also like uh, like Figma has so many uh, things that uh, will improve from Sketch mm -hmm. that it uh, like makes a lot of sense now. And uh, I don't even like miss plugins a lot. Like I just like got. You don't used. miss Sketch. No. Okay. What would you say is the biggest advantage that Figma has over Sketch? Uh, the real-time collaboration, so like, real-time collaboration. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and it's not even like about collaboration, but like uh, showing, like like being very transparent. Even for people who don't collaborate, like are not designers, they can just like go into the Figma and browser 
Like, don't ha do, don't I have to install anything and like they just like can see the progress? Yeah, when we're working with clients, it's really interesting. So we can just give them a link. They don't need to download anything, and they yeah. can we can already see their mouse moving around yeah. on the screen. And yeah. Yeah. we can allow them to edit it, or we can just allow yeah. them to look at it. Yeah, that's also, really really cool. Also on Figma, they can even make comments. Yeah, which is also yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. In, yeah. So on individual parts. Yeah. So real time collaboration definitely already gets another slap. Okay? Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. that's yeah. Figma. Sketch one Figma. <laughs> You almost hit me! <laughs> Another thing about Figma that I thought was kind of interesting um, watching you guys using it was that there's like this ability to have a team library. Exactly. Which is That's so cool. useful. I'm just gonna like open that full screen here. That's so useful because in my case, I know that in the beginning I was like, yeah, I'm pro sketch. But this is something amazing about Figma that saves so much time when you have a library of components yeah. and all your, all your team can see what you're doing. If you change something, then everybody's going to see that saves so much time. Yeah, and I think Sketch probably has a plugin to make that work similarly, yeah, but not as nice. They, yeah. they made it like, like, uh, like very recently, maybe like a couple of weeks ago. So like why team library is good? Like, uh, so basically you can have uh, a set of uh, UI uh, elements and you can basically uh, use it across any file, yeah. like headers, buttons, uh, text styles, and so on. Can you have a team library for one app um, and kind of import that team library into another app if you want to reuse yeah. the yeah. but just yeah, change exactly. the colors and stuff exactly. like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So team libraries get a slap. Oh, yeah. Or actually, how many slaps would you give team libraries now that we don't really have a counting system? Seven. Seven slaps. Oh, okay. Another yeah. thing I have to say, um, is something that's very positive about Sketch. Now, keeping in mind, the end result is going to be the same, right? So this is a, a little bit based on your preferences and your needs. Mm -hmm. But one thing I have to say about Sketch that's really great is that it's a fully native Mac application. So that's very, that's something important to know that the actual performance of these of Sketch is going to be a little bit better than the performance of Figma because the a Sketch is using your Macs. Like I don't exactly know how to describe native versus non-native, but native apps are usually the ones that are built for the system and can use the entire power of the machine you're using, whereas web-based apps don't necessarily have that ability. So Sketch is a little bit more stable, a little bit more powerful when you're using it on the Mac compared to Figma, which is web-based. And even if you download the offline version of Figma, mm -hmm. it's still web-based. So it's not actually really an app on your Mac which I have to say, for me, yeah. is three slaps for Sketch, because I can design when I'm on a train, offline, really stable, yeah. Yeah, you're right. slap it in. Yeah, okay. But how about this moment when someone, uh, for example, like a, a developer for Android. Developers develop. Yeah. And he needs to get assets and like Ooh. use Linux, for example, and like uh, doesn't yeah. He Mac doesn't use a Mac, right, yeah. okay. So he can just like, uh, uh, open this like uh, Figma link and like export all the assets yeah. and then like it yeah. makes so much easier uh, so for that's, the designer. Yeah, that's a really big deal. Now, one thing I should say is that most designers do use a Mac and a lot of developers are using Macs as well. But the thing about Figma is that it is platform agnostic and it works on yeah, any which is yeah. anything. Yeah. Figma is definitely forward thinking. Sketch is like, yeah. it was the more, most forward thinking product that we'd seen in a while, but now it's kind of falling yeah. behind and getting superseded by Figma, yeah. I have to say. And, yeah. and again, like if we talk about developers. Developers, 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 developers. Uh, so in Sketch, you have to uh, have like Zeppelin, for example, like to be able like- uh, Zeppelin. To like uh, show all the assets and like- He's Still need margins. that today. Yeah, oh. you have to ing integrate oh. that point of sketch. While Stupid. here, it's just like one one separate tab. It's called code, mm. and then uh, oh, basically amazing. you see all the properties you need, yeah. Yeah. and that's you crazy. can even uh, sw uh, switch between CSS, iOS, and Android. That's amazing. That sounds like. I mean, maybe we should just just. I'm trying to remember the slap situation here. I'm trying to remember that we're doing the Sunday slap. We always <laughs> forget. So, how many slaps are we going to give the fact that Figma is multi-platform, cross-platform, platform agnostic, whatever you want to call it? I would say 10. 12, 10, 12, 12 11, let's go in between. <laughs> but since we're already in this area of tabs, yeah. we yeah. should talk about the prototype feature because this is so good 
I mean, yeah. So that's something like in the end of all of the product work we do, the outcome is always a high yeah. fidelity prototype. But I actually don't think that Figma or Sketch have nailed that. We still <laughs> use a third party uh, yeah. prototyping software, right? Yeah. And yeah. that's something that um, Envision Studio is trying to solve. Exactly. trying to solve yeah. We'll and the, see. yeah the reason we're not talking about envision studio today is because it's not ready for production work yeah. right it's, yeah. it's it's cool it, it does its thing it, yeah. but it's not ready to be a production yeah. level product i think yeah it's, yeah you tried a, it. it i think it's a bit sad about prototyping in figma that uh it's so like uh, basic at the moment yeah yeah they kept it very basic still and uh for example with sketch they have like, a lot of plugins to integrate with marvel yeah. with envision so like you can basically automatic almost automatically upload all the screens to envision yeah and maybe you want to connect them directly in, in sketch yeah. and you'll have like a live prototype in envision or something like that yeah while uh with figma like if you want to like create this like almost like live version, we have to use Marvel like uh, to use the animations. You have to like, export yeah. uh, everything from Figma so first. Yeah. 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 So actually, that's interesting. With Sketch, Sketch is still better for prototyping than Figma. So I think that means Sketch has to get a couple of slaps. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. How many slaps will we give Sketch's ability to integrate with prototyping tools? How five. about five? Come on, here. <laughs> Twenty. 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 <laughs> We go in between, we go in between like 15, I think. I it's think 15. it deserves, it's I think a, it deserves it. 15? A, okay. Is it 15? What are you thinking? 12. 12? <laughs> what do you think? He likes the five, number 12. 5 and 20, 12 in between. So <laughs> what's the future of Sketch if a product like Figma is coming along to kind of, I don't know, it, it's kind of taking its market share, right? Yeah, totally. Well, uh, there are two possible options. One is cemetery. Cemetery? Yeah. Just like going to the cemetery. <laughs> yeah. So it's mu uh, it's much more easier to build a design system uh, in Sketch at which the is, moment. Which is why Google Material Design's update was exactly. built in Sketch. For sure. Yeah. 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 Which is a big deal, which I was, oh, yeah. I was surprised about. I was like, oh, that's a big yeah. win for Sketch. Yeah. They were so clever to do that, this yeah. collaboration. Oh! Yeah. But really the thing you need to know is as a designer, it's not really like a lot of people do get hung up on these sort of things mm. but in the end it doesn't really matter right yeah. it's like just do it it doesn't matter you can use figma you can use sketch you can yeah. use maybe not in vision studio <laughs> not you yet. can use adobe x yeah, what <laughs> maybe not but they're basically these are the two i think like to simplify it these are the two that kind of stand out amongst all of the, the yeah, other ones definitely. in the market um yeah. i'm not really sure personally um, or, or at AJ and Smart at least, mm. we've started transitioning to Figma because for collaborative work and, and yeah. for sending it to clients and, and just for the ease of use, that's the one that's yeah. winning. It feels, it feels to me like Figma is kind of yeah. taking over and it's the, it's oh, the yeah. more forward looking uh, one. Uh, last thing I want to mention uh, is Figma Web API. Oh yeah. So it's like, I think it's uh, the future of like web-based services. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what this actually all means, so what Yeah, is that? this is a so, very nerdy what, talk. Uh, what is Web API? Educate us, Fedor. For example, I have like a web-based service like uh, at Uber. Okay, uh, and what does that mean? Uh, for example, I, I have this like, car. Talk to us like we are I have this like, car old. moving yeah. on my phone like yeah. uh, when I went, waited for, the, for an Uber. Yeah. And I want to update this like how the car looks. Yes. Like, just like design. You want to just change the asset. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. I can uh, do it in Figma, and it automatically would update uh, it uh, in the in the Uber app. So you don't oh. have to deliver it to the developers. Yeah. Oh my god. They, oh, that's that's, that's amazing. Crazy. Yeah. Like for example. That sounds a bit uh, dangerous. So I'm going to uh, change this logo here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what have I done? Oh it's no. Fine. It will work. <laughs> oh. Will it? Oh God. Will it feather? So if I change this logo, it's going to change it on all like the billboards. Exactly. Ah, it goes to oh yeah. my god! Yeah. And I just paste the Figma URL in there. Yeah. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So yeah. maybe you can even like try something like uh, Sunday Slab, and then we can we can <laughs> make like a that, billboard Jonathan. for <laughs> Sunday. Not like I'm just going to move that to here, okay? Yeah, just gonna, yeah, yeah, you did it, Jonathan. Right. Okay. So right. now I save <laughs> it. Uh, uh, no, you, no, no, you, uh, you copy the the Figma you, file. Okay, so I'm I mean it's already saved. You don't have to do. And I'm going this. Uh, let's see if the ball moves up to the left. Oh! You broke it, Jonathan! Oh, wait. <laughs> Shh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, but it hasn't appeared on these things yet. That's yeah. good. Well, we'll be here waiting, I guess. <gasps> oh! Wow. That's, so that's actually wow. kind of crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't... This is obviously not an exciting example, <laughs> but that's really cool. I think that gets like at least 100 slaps. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Why let's not? do it. So I have no idea what the final count is. But I have the feeling, I have the, the suspicion that Figma won this week's Sunday Slap. Sketch still has my heart. So I hope you enjoyed this Sunday Slap. As always, it's not informative. Um, oh, 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 can I can I ask something? Just because, no, Oh, no, we should seriously. ask something. We should ask, yeah. the, we should ask the comments. Yeah, exactly. But I really want to know what the community that watches us, what do you guys think? And what you guys are using at the moment. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If, whether it's Photoshop, whether it's... I mean, a lot of people... Or paint. Who, or paint. It could, no, you know what some people are going to write, just to be smart asses. They're going to be like, paper. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> get it. We get it. You draw stuff on paper. Yeah, we use a lot of then, paper too. How do you then yeah. put that into a prototype? Yeah. That's what we'd love to know this week in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please give it a subscribe. That's down there on the bottom somewhere. Oh my God, and, it's the um, first time that I did this. Yeah, Is this the right? It's, it's somewhere. It's somewhere on the screen. So thanks so much for watching. See you next Sunday. Let's slap it out. How's the hair? It's not great. John. It's not good. Yeah, we have to check that really quickly. It, it's mm. really hot here. Yeah, it is really hot, but that's just because you're next to me. Uh, oh, Jesus, it is bad. <laughs> developers, 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 developers.